this is the first time since 97 the men's team and the women's team both have an overall winning record as January fades into February. Well, and that's, look, that, that's what we've been building towards and aspiring to do here for, for the, at least the five and a half years, and I know beyond um, beyond that, but, you know, it's it's a process, and, and it's an everyday process, and we, we, you know, going out and finding Kyle, and then certainly uh, what Jennifer built, and then Molly takes over, and, and I think, you know, if you just look at what they're doing on a day in and day out basis, the type of kids that they're bringing here, um, you know, especially uh, if you look at some of the younger kids that, that are here now, we're talking about kids that are, you know, 3-1, 3-2, up to 3-8, 3-9 in the classroom and can really play. And, and ultimately, when, when we can find that mix and, and, and we can put ourselves in the top top third of the conference and be able to compete for championships on a consistent basis, we'll, we will have, you know, set forth what we wanted to do from the beginning. I know when Father Prevett was here as president, he always said the city is our campus, and more and more you can say the world is our campus well, here on the hilltop. without question. You know, you talk about the connectivity and you talk about – we have 230 uh, students who are athletes on this campus and division one, represent the University of Division One Athletics. And close to 60 to 65 of them, I think, this year are, are from, from foreign country. That's that's pretty remarkable. You yeah. know, Scott, in terms of facilities, yes, big steps. You look right behind us, you see these new seats. Sorry yeah. to the yeah. young man right yeah. there. They're comfortable. They're a big improvement over what was here. And that's just, there's more to come. Well, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're, we're really just scratching the surface. I mean, we do in large part to, you know, the great support of, of our donor base, our university administration, Father Paul Fitzgerald, Charlie Cross, Mike London. It's a big team effort to really pull off what we're trying to pull off. And we've, we've started that with, with what happened, you know, down at the baseball field. We redid some things in soccer, put a new turf, some new stands, cleaned it up some, new scoreboards. Then we come into the gym and say, look, we've got a multi-phased approach here, right? This is a, number one, it's a, a beautifully historic building. It's got great bones, I like to call, right? So it's been a lot of, a lot of great things happen here, structurally sound, all those types of things. And then you come in and you say, all right, well, what are, what are things we could do now and not have to wait until we actually do the big renovation starting in April through October? It was, it was the reason we made the decision to push forward with the seats. We wanted to show people that we have a continual, you know, amount of progress that's happening here. And then really in earnest, it starts in April uh, on the, the major gym renovation, which will be behind us here with the new club level and, and the Sobrato Club. And, and then ultimately right after that, we move out to the east side with a brand new uh, Malloy practice facility. So when it's all said and done here in, you know, 30, 36 months, I think it's going to be, it's going to rival anybody in the country as far as, you know, the uniqueness of it, number one. Number two, what we can provide to our students who are representing us, you know, on the courts and in the classrooms. And then ultimately, I think for the city, it'll be a real source of pride. And the practice facility is going to be a huge asset because when you get into that volleyball, basketball overlap in October, the scheduling person here has one of the toughest jobs in America. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I, I, I believe this is my third institution uh, that I've been at on, and been on campuses. and. And I've always believed, and I believe it, and I, and I know USF believes it, and, and it's really starting to grow and grow and grow for us, is, look, we go out and we spend all this time and effort, and we recruit these young men and women to come be a part of what we're doing. We've got to give them the best to compete at the highest level. And part of that is being able to do it in a way that best benefits not only them, but also our campus. So when we add the Malloy Practice Facility, and now we have an event center here at the Sobrato Center because we'll be able to make those practices work and maybe at night you have a concert maybe at night you're having a TEDx talk maybe at night you're having something else without interrupting anything that's going on you know right here in the athletic department yeah making it very seamless and Scott before we go I just want to say again I said this to you before privately you hit it out of the park with the baseball facility well thank you yeah it's a lot of fun it's very unique uh, you know hey, we're excited we, we played 12 games there last year it's like we just got a little test run now we have a 25 game schedule look in the next you know, two years, we're going to have 36 home games. It's going to be an awesome venue for people to come bring their kids, come out on a Tuesday afternoon. If you're a senior and retired, we got a lot to offer uh, with our baseball program, which has been has been excellent for a long time. It sure has. Nino does a great job with the baseball team here at USF. Well, Scott, great job at halftime. Thanks for stopping by. Director of Athletics Scott Sidwell, we're back with more Dons and the Pacific Tigers. we got a good one going on here on the W. Stick around for the second half.